Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful 2006 Dutchman Light 29Q bunkhouse travel trailer. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. Overall exterior length is 31 feet, 2 inches. Exterior height to the ducted AC unit is 11 feet. Overall condition of this trailer, I would definitely rate it excellent. Yeah, I think any dealer would agree. This is a one owner coach. I know the owner. I've known the owner since he bought it, brand new. And he has kept a very good care of this camper. It's been stored inside under cover. I did check it for water damage, did not find any issues. And the fact that he keeps it in a storage facility where it's covered definitely helps out with uh, keeping the decals looking good and uh, eliminate any chances of getting water damage so that was definitely good on his part all right let's go ahead and uh, start the video on the boot dinette breaks down into a bed pretty easily uh, collapses down you can sleep two kiddos on this or one grown adult comfortably your fabrics are going to be the colors uh, tans browns colors and all your fabrics inside this camper are also in excellent condition there is absolutely no wear and tear at all jackknife sleeper sofa collapses down like a futon and uh, same colors the browns and tans and again excellent condition this is a non-smoker no pets cabinets are oak light oak finish and your drawer fronts are going to be solid wood with brushed nickel hardware there's your ducted AC with quick dump uh, basically open up these louvers do a quick dump and once it's cooled off you can shut off these louvers and you'll have ducted AC all throughout the camper which is nice stereos CD player back in 2006 this is a pretty decent feature on this so uh, if you want to upgrade it I'm sure it'd be pretty easy and uh, that's where your TV would go right there thermostat controls right here to operate your ducted AC and ducted heat pretty easy to figure out all right We are hooked up to 110, so I do show off that the microwave is working. Show the digital readout right there. Microwave looks like it's never been used. Three burner gas cooktop. Front burner is usually a high output. Oven looks like it's never been used. This is going to be your monitor panel. Shows you where you are in your holding tanks, your gray tank, which is your sink and your shower, your black tank, which is your toilet, and your battery. And fully charged on the battery, this is your water pump switch. Refrigerator is going to be an 8 cubic foot Norcold refrigerator and you can adjust the settings which is nice. It's not preset like your Dometics And the owner has had this plugged in for a couple days now and it is cold And as I said, it's gas and electric Little gas electric switch right there This is a quad bunk floor plan, so you have four bunk beds in the rear, and they are rated at 300 pounds. Show that off right there. And I do check for water damage in all four corners of every trailer and camper and RV, and did not find any issues on this camper. TV would go right there. Nice closet area for storage. I think they're rating this to sleep 8 to 10. So. Your flooring is going to be the residential grade vinyl flooring. Kind of show that off. I'm going to try to show off everything on this camper. I do check around all toilets for soft spots. Usually caused by uh, not prepping it up during winterizing. But I uh, did not find any issues. Nice uh, medicine cabinet. Not just a mirror skylight in the shower area and you also have a tub with seating Let's see if I can show it off right there that's nice
master bedroom You've got a queen bed 110 outlets on each side of the bed that is where your TV would go and there's a little collapsible table there which is nice and nice solid pocket wood uh, pocket doors here wood pocket doors not just a little cheap accordion curtain so get a little privacy in the master bedroom from the living room give you one last look at the living room here before we go outside it's a little loud outside uh, we're parked right up next to the street so uh, it might get a little loud so I do apologize ahead of time The exterior finish on this Dutchman light is the corrugated aluminum skin. I did check for uh, any hail damage, any dinks or anything like that. There's a few little tiny little dinks on the back side, which I'll show you in the video, but uh, definitely a dealer would rate this one through 10, 10 being the best. It would be a 10. All your decals are pretty much showroom condition. I actually commented to the owner uh, that it looked like the day he bought it. So it's, it's just, it's been very well maintained. So. Nice Dutchman badge right there. You do have the diamond plating on the front to, to protect it from rock debris kicking up. And you do have the two 30 pound LP tanks with cover. That was an option. You also have the heavy duty stabilizer jacks. Those are the ones you want, not the little rinky dink jacks. Huge storage on this model. Also check for water damage in the compartment areas too. So I think I do a pretty good job, thorough job of checking for water damage. Kind of pan down the side here while that sun's shining. Decals are in excellent condition. Showroom. Awning's gonna be about an 18 foot awning and it's in excellent condition. Your tires are only a couple of years old. They only have a couple of hundred miles on them, if that. Uh, the manufacturing date, which I'll try to show you on the back side, I believe it's the 17th week of 2019, and they're all match matching. Uh, see, they even have the little knobs on them still. Kind of back up here, show off what it looks like from the back front. got huge storage up underneath the uh, bunk bed area and that goes all the way through you have full pass-through storage on this floor plan and all your seals around the exterior baggage doors were all replaced recently This is that front storage. This is up underneath the queen bed. This is how meticulous the owner is. When he stores it, he covers up, takes off the service panel for the 31,000 BTU furnace and puts a plastic sheet uh, in there so that mud daubers don't nest. Anyway, and anyway, I just find it important to show off how how well owners take care of their camper. This is a gravity water fill. Not sure what the gallons of fresh water tank this is. City water hookup right here. And let's see if I can show you. All the tires, the wheels are all looking good. It's just this one is a little rusted, but uh, let's see if I can zoom in on the manufacturing date of the tire. Here it is. It's upside down, but it's the 17th week of 2019. The little circle usually by the rim on the tire usually tells you the manufacturing date. Six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, you've got the hot water within 15 minutes. 30 amp service plug right here. And this is your garage area up underneath the uh, bunkhouse area. With those heavy duty stabilizer jacks, that's where you hook up your sewer hose. Let's see if I can get the little dink on the back. Uh, every now and then, when he brings it home to wash it, sometimes 
a few times he's actually tapped the light here and see if I can show it to you it's right there little tiny dink it's a non-issue I find it important to point it out though beautiful trailer anyway if you want to come and see the camper just call the number on the ad you deal directly with the owner or you can just call 502-645-3124 if you like this video I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube and if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.